is Ashley Barrow. I'm the founder and CEO of Reassist. I have over 16 years in transfer of care planning in addition to having a family member have a crisis. So very connected to the space. And today I just want you all to rethink transfer of care. Meet Joe. Joe's had a stroke. He's in a hospital. He needs to transition from the hospital to the acute care. I'm sorry, from the hospital to the skilled nursing facility. He has provided this paper choice list. And this looks nice, guys. This one is in color. It's copied neatly. It's probably got right people on there. Like, this is a nice one. But this is what he's given in his time of crisis, where he needs to go to the next level of care for his recovery. He's working with a case manager who's kind of all disconnected. He knows a lot about the institutional lab resources, but the resources outside the hospital. She's educated also on a paper list directory. Medical sales reps come into the hospital and educating her on their services and word of mouth. This is 2022, guys, where we're looking at transfer of care. Someone's help here. But she's looking at affordability, bed availability for the patient, the family influence, services, locations, and also resources is a, is a factor for her. So with this, it's insufficient. We found that this is the most confusing multi-layer part of the discharge planning and the care planning process. And it relates to about 20 to 30 percent of individuals like Joe reaching into the hospital within 30 days. It's a $41.3 billion problem, and there's really no real industry knowledge out there but the paper list directory. So that's what we come in place with Reassist. Reassist is a patient facing digital health platform that places that paper list directory in care planning. And here's how we work we work with healthcare entities that vet and fact find services. Once that's completed, service fire providers are able to access our platform and use us like a marketplace for admission, where they can manipulate information such as insurance is accepted, on-site services, hours of operation, forms that's needed, and things for eligibility. Then patients and also service providers can access our platform as a knowledge tool and have things that they need pop up within seconds. We need your guys to get to the next phases. We are looking for integration, EHR integration, electronic health record. So we have patient charts right within our right within our platform, cost transparency, and API integration for pre-certifications, rehabilitation care planning with messages for continuity of care between the service provider, the patient, and also the case manager. We have a multi-generational team ready to take on this challenge, diverse in nursing, software development, engineering, and project management. We need your help to disrupt the transfer of care planning process by getting us connected to a marketing campaign that can tell the story of how a family crisis and COVID birth reassist a platform that will save lives. An executive plan that can get us connected to people that are thought leaders and subject matter experts that can help us with our organizational vision as well as projections. And finally, and most importantly, guys, we need funding to build out our phases of development and add staff. What we're trying to do is deliver the quality of life to patients and reduce the burden of care by working in hospitals, nonprofits, and home and community based labor programs. Let me assist be the difference in your transfer of care planning. Thank you.